Hey, so just really quickly, if you're a mortgage broker or a financial advisor, I've got something which I think you're going to want to see. Because the thing is, if you're like most of the mortgage advisors and IFAs that I speak to, then you are missing out on one of the most reliable and cost-effective ways there is for generating mortgage leads from your own website. No, it's not Facebook ads, and no, I'm not talking about posting on TikTok every day. I'm talking about Google ads. Google Ads was the biggest source of mortgage leads for me back in the days when I had my own IFA firm. And it still works brilliantly today. And I'm going to show you some examples of that in a moment. But despite this, most mortgage brokers aren't taking advantage of the power of Google Ads. Now, if you're not sure what Google Ads is, it's the system that displays those paid or sponsored listings which appear at the top of the search results page every time someone looks for something on Google. And the beauty of Google Ads, and this is where it beats most other forms of marketing hands down, is that you're only showing your ads and your marketing messages to people who have actually gone onto Google and proactively searched for mortgage advice. They need your help, and they're looking for that help right now. Now compare that with Facebook ads. Everyone raves about Facebook ads because they're cheap. But they're not really cheap because a, the costs have been steadily rising over the past few years, and B, because the people who see your ads on Facebook are not warm prospects. You see, the problem is that no one ever goes onto Facebook to look for a mortgage or to find a mortgage advisor. They go onto Facebook because they're bored and they want to see what their mates are up to or they want to look at pictures of cute cats. So if you run ads on Facebook, all you're doing is interrupting people and getting in their way when they're trying to do something else. So even if you do get a few inquiries from it, the quality is going to be poor and, as the saying goes, you're going to have to kiss a lot of frogs before you find one that turns into a prince. Now with Google Ads, you'll pay a bit more per lead than you do with Facebook Ads, but the increase in quality of the leads more than makes up for it. But don't just take my word for it. Let me show you some real results from a couple of the clients I've worked with recently and where I've helped them use Google Ads to generate a predictable flow of new mortgage leads. Okay, so this is the Google Ads account for a client that I did some work with last year. And this is um, looking at a snapshot of their account for a one month period. And in the graph at the top here, you can see there's two lines. Um, the blue line is the number of clicks they were getting each day, and the red line is the number of conversions, the number of leads they were getting each day. And what you can see from this is fairly consistent um, number of, uh, of conversions coming in, you know, one or two each day. Uh, but also the other thing to point out here is they're not needed to get loads and loads of clicks. Look, uh, that day there, 14 clicks, two leads. Um, this one over here, 16 clicks, four leads. You know, over here, seven clicks, one lead. So you don't need to have lots and lots of volume. You don't need to spend lots of money on it because of that thing I said just now, that the people who are coming through from Google Ads are actually looking for help from someone like you right now. They're highly motivated to take action. So you don't need loads and loads of them in order to get a decent number of leads coming through. You can see down here we're running various different uh, different campaigns and you've got the, the number of conversions, number of leads from each one and the cost per conversion. So you can see it varies from one kind of campaign to another. But I mean, look at this, this campaign here, 11, 11 leads in the month for adverse credit and they're paying £12.88 uh, per lead, which uh, is fantastic when you think how much money they can make from each uh, completed case. And if I just move myself out of the way over here, you can see the totals down here that throughout the month they had 29 conversions at an average cost of £32.90 uh, per lead, which is really, really great. And the conversion rate on those, they were converting one in five of those uh, into, into clients. And over uh, a longer period, over a period of 10 weeks, uh, they actually got 10 new mortgage clients from the leads that they, that they got. Now, if you think that's good, uh, let me show you another one. This is another client of mine that I set up Google Ads for, and this is their results from the past 30 days. As you can see, they're focusing on a particular niche, a particular sector, uh, being self-employed. Uh, and because of that, because they're being specialists rather than the previous client we saw, they were going after just anything and everything from their local area, these ones are getting um, leads for even less. £19.20 is their cost per lead, and they've had 49 leads in the last 30 days. So if Google Ads is so great, why aren't more people like you using it to grow their businesses with a steady stream of new mortgage inquiries? Well, it tends to be because they've tried it and not got it to work properly. Or they've heard horror stories about other mortgage brokers who tried using Google Ads, didn't take the time to learn how to do it properly, and so lost a load of money. 
And I do get that because there are a number of things that can go wrong when you try to use Google Ads to get yourself new mortgage clients. Uh, you might end up choosing the wrong keywords and that means your ads will get clicked on by the wrong kind of people. You know, people who are just vaguely thinking about getting a mortgage rather than people who are ready to get a mortgage or a remortgage right now and who want a professional advisor to help them do it. Or another thing that can go wrong is you might write ads that don't connect with your target audience. So you might get your messaging wrong and fail to stand out from the other listings on the Google search results page. And that means you'll get hardly any clicks. Or you might start running ads, and this is really common, you might start writing ads before you've got an effective landing page in place on your website. If you make that mistake, then that's the equivalent of encouraging people to come and visit your brand new shop on the high street, but before you've put the stock on the shelves and got the rubbish off the floor. So if what I've told you today has inspired you to try using Google Ads to generate mortgage leads for your business, and, and I hope it has, then it's really important that you spend just a little bit of time beforehand making sure you understand how the platform works and how to avoid those traps that Google leaves there for the unwary and the uninitiated. And that's why I'm currently running a free online masterclass where I'll teach you exactly how to set up a Google Ads campaign the correct way so that it generates mortgage leads. I won't just cover the theory, I'll show you the actual campaign structure and strategy that I use for that client of mine who got 10 new mortgage clients in just 10 weeks. And I'll show you how to set it up so you can copy and paste it for your own business. I'll also show you the landing page I used for their campaign and I'll explain why it was so effective. Again, this is so you can create a similar page for your own mortgage lead campaign. And to save you time and make sure you get a head start on all the other new advertisers out there, I'll give you a copy of my Google Ads swipe file, which contains 46 examples of the kind of ad copy that is proven to generate mortgage leads. So what are you waiting for? Um, somewhere near this video, maybe um, over here or, or down here, depending on, on what device you're watching on, you'll see a button you can click to see the upcoming dates for this free training and reserve your place. The webinar lasts about 90 minutes and I promise you that you will leave the session excited and empowered to stop relying on buying leads or waiting for referrals and instead use Google Ads to build a system that's going to bring a predictable pipeline of new mortgage clients into your business. So click the button now and I look forward to seeing you on the webinar.